I want to introduce uh, my couch surfing host. Here he is. He's cooking right now. His name is Lissandro and yeah, uh, actually I saw him last night. I didn't present him because I was with his friends. His friends picked me up last night. <laughs> but uh, right now he's just back for, uh, from work. He's got to work so he's going to eat some stuff. And he's going to take me downtown. He's a nice guy. He's, uh, he's hosted like nine other people here before. So he's an active couch surfing host. Guys, this is what we're having for la the lunch, I guess. It's um, the typical here, what I what I ate yesterday, kind of, which is rice, beans, ground beef, then some flour made out of like some seeds, roots. some roots here in Akron. And what is it? What, what's the pink stuff? The pink stuff, I think it's like a grain salsa. I don't know. Like what? A grain salsa. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> But yeah, this is. I'm just gonna show you guys how like different the food is gonna be from here all the way down to the coast. It's gonna change a lot. The people and the food, and the the accents, which is gonna be hard <laughs> to understand people. So guys, right now we're on our way to uh, downtown. He's gotta go to work, but he's gonna show me how to get there. And one of the problems that we're gonna face is that I don't have my cell phone with me. I left my <laughs> cell phone with his, uh, his friend's house, so that's never happened before. So I always have Google Maps. That's the vital test. Yeah, it's, it's not, he's been showing me around, so <laughs> it should be good. So we are in downtown Rio Branco. This right here is like their municipal building, I believe. And they have a nice fountain and a lot. Two more monuments here, but um, I was coming here to uh, get some money out but I am retarded and I forgot to uh, bring my passport with me so I can't get my money out. So it was a wasteful trip, although I can just walk around and see the sights. Which, let me tell you guys, there is not that many sights here because Acre is like really far away, like a very far state from the main Brazil. And uh, so there's it's like, from what I've seen, it's like a lot of farms, there's rainforest and it's supposed to be one of the newest states of Brazil, like the last state that was, uh, I don't know, unified into the Brazilian territories, I have no idea, but anyways, <laughs> there's not much to do here, that's what I'm trying to say, but uh, it's very nice though, I like the weather, it really reminds me of Costa Rica, I was telling, I was telling the Sandra, I was like, dude, if you go to Costa Rica, it's kind of like this course with you know with the ocean so Lissandra gave me this map this tourism map and there's a few things we can go check out right now most of which are really close to here so I'll go do all of that so I don't know if you guys can tell but it's like it's been raining here it's very humid here of course it's a rainforest but um, I don't know if you guys ever read about Brazil like slash and burn <clears throat> where they cut down the forest and then they they burn it and then they have like cattle graze the fields so, well that's that's what happens around here everything around here is like a bunch of cattle but it's pretty much that slash and burn practice but you can still feel the the weather of the rainforest pretty much what I was trying to say with that is that uh, the, if this city wasn't here this would just be a rainforest this will be full of trees and like you wouldn't be able to walk around I think, I'm pretty sure that's how it is, because that's how it looked like when I was driving in here. Check it out. This is like their main bridges here. So the city is divided in two by the, by the river, and these, these three bridges connect the two sides. The middle one, the nice one, that one's a pedestrian bridge, so I'm gonna go over there in a second. I'm gonna go all the way over there to that flag. They have a, this small boardwalk, which is nice. Holy shit, I think this kid's about to jump. There's this woman that stopped to ask him if he was gonna jump, but I don't think he was more like trying to stop him. I think it was more like she wants to see it happen. Man, I don't think he's gonna jump. So in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm getting kind of sick. But it's, uh, it's not like a sick sick like the virus or a bacteria. It's more like, um, 
Every time I get on those buses, I get stuffy and like I get like a headache. But it's just from the AC. The air conditioner here is like they just crank that up. Like since they have AC, they just crank that thing all the way up, and it really gets me sick all the time. Getting to the flag. Lissandra was telling me that there's 450,000 people in this town. It reminds me a lot about Costa Rica because there's a lot of people on their bikes. Like I was saying before, the weather. And also a lot of people exercising, like running and just like walking on the street. And I like that. I like when there's a lot of uh, physical activity going on. So there's a huge flag right there. I'm only gonna take a guess that it's the Acre state flag. I don't think that's the city flag. Oh yeah, so it's the state flag, Acre. It's a bunch of rivers here. This is a monument to the revolution of Acre. This is their plaza, their main plaza. I don't know if I told you guys, but uh, Lissandro, he's a police officer, so he works behind that white building. Yeah, this is a nice central park. Small plaza, not like the other ones. I don't see a church or anything. Which actually, to tell you the truth, I haven't seen any churches here in Brazil. That's, that's pretty crazy, yeah. Most of these South American countries have a bunch of churches. But yeah, so the municipal building was that white building I showed you guys like a few minutes ago. And then uh, here's the police station, the main... Uh, the center was telling me that the police here is military police. And peace, they don't have like a regular police force. So, which is kind of controversial. But uh, yeah, that's the MP right there. Everyone here is waiting for the bus. It's like the main, the main bus station here in Rio Branco. So check out the students' uh, uniforms. They're made out of like uh, jerseys for soccer. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. 